Sorry guys, my my stupid phone was ringing and I yeah the number was just unknown so ugh, so that interrupted my video. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah. So I understand as a parent, it's hard to let go of your child because you've raised them ever since you were, they were babies. Ever since you've known them, ever since they were conceived. But however, it's time to learn how to let go of your child. Um, it's because they need to start making their own decisions in life. They need to start experiencing what it's like to be an adult. Like, yeah. But if you're very, if, if you're very supportive of your child moving out, um, it's very, very, very important to prepare them for that. Teach them the skills that they need, such as managing finances, grocery shopping, independent living skills, and so on. Um, yeah, so learn to teach your child that they can't expect for you to help them all the time. They gotta learn how to problem solve, especially when they go to college or university, you know? Like, you can't be phoning your child's professors, for example, and tell them that, that they want to, that, oh, my child's not getting, a, a, getting an A, they should get an A and stuff. First of all, professors don't like it when parents are hovering over their kids. Like, a lot of professors don't. Like, my educational assistant from high school um, told me about this, um, this man, this young man in university and his parents were calling him, um, his professor and I'm like and the professor was shocked and I'm like you know honestly parents need to back, back lay back a little and stop hovering over, over their kids even though they're visually impaired or not visually impaired even though they're disabled or not disabled because first of all your child will remain a child emotionally if you hover over them yeah, like, yeah. So, realize that your child will not be able to rely on you for transportation. They have to learn, they have to have really good orientation and mobility skills. And they have to know how to at least use the public transit to get around. Because... If they're moving out, you're not going to be there for them all the time. You're not going to be there for them 24-7. You're, you're a busy parent. You, you, have, you, have to, you have other things to do. It's okay to help your child when they're transitioning to moving out, but don't, don't help them all the way along. That they, you know, don't help them to a point that your child doesn't know how to problem solve. They need to learn how to do that on their own. They move out. They're an adult. They left their nest. They, they left your, your nest. Teach your child how to manage money um, in a smart way. Like, encourage your child not to borrow so much, um, so much money. Or else they're going, they'll be going into debt after they finish university. Like, don't, you know, tell them not to, to, to borrow so much from student loans. Because what if they, they graduate? They're like $100,000 in debt and they can't pay it off. Then they have to go back and live with you because they have to pay off the debt. Like, yeah, so prepare your child so, so, so that can be prevented. So once your child uh, uh, has a place that they, in mind that they want to move into, Inspect the place with them. If they need furniture, go with the furniture. Go furniture shopping with them. But if they don't need furniture, no problem. For so I live in McCune residence. When I first moved in, there was already furniture in place, so I didn't have to worry about that. I didn't have to worry about bu buying furniture. When I when I um when I went on a residence tour with with this this um this um young man named Jeff, he was really tall, about like over six feet. He was a big guy too. 
So he showed me a, one of the suites. He showed me a bachelor suite and he showed me a two-bedroom apartment suite. And there was already furniture in place. And I was like, oh my god. This is so nice. It's like an apartment. Okay, so I'm going to get going now, okay?